Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Panda Photographer and I just had a burrito, a vegetarian burrito from En Mala. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. M Mola. So basically, it's this taco truck stand right over here. And let me explain. I'm not eating the burrito because I already paid for it and already ate it. But I want to emphasize my... Uh, my receipt order right here this is my order from Miguel's yeah this is their memo so they only accept cash or memo very odd why not accept credit cards it's easy to enroll in credit card tap to pay I don't understand why so let me tell you about some of the cons and some of the pros so let's talk about some of the pros. Pros, it's easy to order. The menu is right there in your face. It's simple, it's easy. But what you don't know, which is a con, that the burritos are smaller than average. Yeah, they're like literally like the size of my hand. And I have small hands. So smaller than average. Normally burritos, what an eight inch burrito. This was less than like five inches, six inches. Yeah, this is less than six inches of burrito. But here's the pros that you can get a vegetarian, but you can also ask for no whipped cream and no cheese. And they would say, oh, do you want to substitute that? They never asked for that. So that's a con because if someone is a vegetarian and they don't want sour cream because they might be allergic to sour cream, but loves burritos, they should get a substitute. There is no substitute for the sour cream. So my $12.42 was not really for $12.42 because I didn't get $12.42 worth of food. So that's a con. Here's a pro. Pro. That they do have the memo, which makes it easy, but not everyone likes memo. As a journalist, as a documentarian, as a photographer, not a lot of people use memo. A lot of people don't trust memo. As we have witnessed, Remo has been, lately, has been, something's going on with their system. It's been very buggy. But, here's a pro about this taco stand. It's easy. You can get tacos, burritos, quesadillas, and a salad bowl if you choose to. I sure got the salad bowl because it seems like I get more food than the burrito. My burrito was a pretty skimpy, pretty small, but the guts inside was just lettuce, tomatoes whatever vegetarian dish that was in there it wasn't great but it was decent enough to eat but i would never eat here from again just just to let you guys know that because first and foremost for twelve dollars and 42 cents i can get a much much bigger meal for twelve dollars and 42 cents here in new york city this is why this is a con price gouging inflation my burrito was the size of my hand which is like less than six inches. It was like a six inch burrito, which is probably standard for you Americans, but traditionally burritos should be what? Eight to 10 inches and in and, and, and contrast. So with that said everyone, I'm not a big fan of this street burrito. It wasn't very tasty, as I said. It was good, but it wasn't tasty. It didn't have facility. Now it did came with two different salsas. There was a vernet salsa, which is a green salsa. It came with some orange salsa, which looked like it had some dairy in it. So I just did not use that. So with that said, everyone, I just used the spicy red chili pepper sauce they gave me. That was more flavorful than the burrito. No offense, but I'm just giving you my expertise as someone that's vegan, vegetarian. And since we had a vegetarian with no cheese and whipped cream, there was no substitution and that's why i'm really concerned like my money should go where it should value and wasn't value enough it wasn't offered no one offered to substitute the whipped cream or whatever cheese which is dairy and you know you pay for that so i didn't pay for that but i did i ended up paying for cheese and dairy which is a con in my opinion i shouldn't have to pay for cheese and dairy still if i don't have a tolerance for it that is a that is a no no. This is why I like traditional burrito restaurants that literally have an option to say, hey, we can substitute that. 
but they don't substitute it. That they they are very limited to what they have. So that's also a con, but it could be a pro, a, a pro because it's simple for them, easy. They can work around it. But there are other options they could have gave me, like cilantro. Cilantro could have been the the, the secondary uh, ingredient, and the rice could have been a secondary ingredient. Yeah, my burrito didn't come with rice. Yeah. My vegetarian burrito did not come with rice, but it came with all the vegetables other than rice. So I don't know if that was a mistake. I didn't ask. I just let it go. I sat there in the park and ate it. But for $12.49, 40, what is it? $12.42? Yeah, I'm going to have to skip. Yes, I can get a bigger, better burrito from Chipotle than this. And it was much, it's the same price. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to, you know, defamate on the business here. As someone that is a vegan and asked for a vegan burrito and I wasn't offered a substitute and I was still charged for the cheese and dairy, which is the big value of their their income because that's part of what how they make their money cheesy and dairy has gone up in price so why am i still paying for that i have no idea but i didn't ask as a journalist as a documentary i take it with a grain of salt i look at the menu i looked at the food i analyze it i eat it and i say to myself was it great honestly it wasn't that good i have better burritos bigger burritos Chipotle's burritos are what? 10 to 11 inches, I believe. Way better, honestly. Way better. But with that said, it has more flavor, more impact, more acidity. It feels like people, can I, may, I, may I say this as a former cook as myself? It feels like there's no passion into these burritos anymore in the city of New York City. So with that said, everyone, I'm just giving you my insight. That's all. That's just giving you my insight about my burrito experience here. Take it with that grain of salt. It's very popular, it has a very good rating, but I don't know if people have a good pa a palate. My palate might not be as good as it was before, but I know my vegetables and I know how flavor should be, and flavor should be balanced, and wasn't very balanced. It was all over the place. It didn't seem very tasteful. It was like I was chewing into, put it like this, the tortilla itself, I was tasting more of the tortilla and that green spicy uh, uh, tagate sauce that they gave me. I was tasting that in the, in the tortilla more than the guts that was inside the burrito. That's how plainless it was. No offense. So if I was, if I was going to rate this, I rate this as a 3 out of 5. You get a 3 out of 5. Sorry, friends. But this is how I don't like the pay system. It's Remo, even though I have Remo, but someone walks up and doesn't have Remo, that's tourist that wants to eat a burrito. Oh, I don't have that system because my credit card doesn't allow me to sign up for Remo. Because if you guys don't know this, some banks in the EU will not allow you to sign up for American Remo unless you have to approve of it. Yeah. So with that said, everyone, they should have a better top to pay system. I really think they should have a pay to top system. It's much easier for people to just like, boop, boop, boop. You get every single dime. And you could charge 3.99 cents per charge, and which that's their fault for not even utilizing that because they can gain more for actually charging cards 3.99 cents per charge on top of the $12.49. And I'm not recommending it, but most businesses do it here in New York City. Some businesses don't, and some businesses do, but I digress. With that said, everyone, I'm still hungry. I am still hungry, and it didn't fill my need. And that's why I gave it a rating of 3.5. If you guys want to argue with me about my, about my experience, this is my experience, my taste buds. I make ramen professionally for a living. I shoot photography, I do videos, I feature foods, I eat a lot of great food. I know my palate very well. This, a little bit overpriced for the burrito that's less than six inches. Actually it was what, five, 
it's probably five five inches point two maybe eight maybe it's less and the guts were not very good and i'm still hungry so i wasted money and in reality i'm homeless and i needed to save money but i was hungry and i want to give them a try and i thought and this is why i chose to eat there i saw someone come from this taco stand right with a it looks like a big burrito so i thought oh wow they, they have burritos there so that's what i thought and the reality was the burritos was shorter than i, 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 I the burritos were shorter than I, I, oh my pen is right on my tip of my tongue i pizzitated oh my pen i can't even speak oh my god was I not what I, what ooh, what is going on? What I what I was not expecting was a small burrito and very not very flavorful. So three point five, no no three three stars out of five. That's what they get. I would never eat there again. Just saying, I just wasted my money. As someone that's literally trying to survive on little budget, that is price gouging for a burrito that small and that look literally. This is my hand, ladies and gentlemen. This is my hand. That's how big the burrito was. That's my hand. That's how big the burrito was. So, and mind you, we had bigger burritos than that here in New York City. Especially in Long Island City, we had bigger burritos than that. Come on, Fred. And it was less than $10. So, with that said, everyone, just take what I say about New York City and people with the inflation and the price gouging with the grain of salt. Everyone is doing it. Everyone is doing it. Everyone thinks they are getting away with it. But in reality, when someone finds out that you're doing it, it's going to be a very sour day for you. So if I were you, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you shop where you want to. Please, if you buy food, Make sure that you have enough and make sure that you get enough. This is why right now I'm going to get on good to go's, good, too good to go's ass about some of the inconsistencies with the app. They're allowing businesses to literally take advantage of customers and the system. They say they want to give $18 worth of food, but you give me this. So I spoke to good to go to app, good to go uh community service today or whoever that's on instagram i showed them this i said so you really think here, here's the kicker here's the kicker ladies and gentlemen i said you think that small box is worth 18 dollars but here is where where is the, where is it Here's where Jungle Cafe screwed up big time. Let me. Since we are on the subject of food reviews, Jungle Cafe gave me a small tiny box that was a day and a half old worth of food. Keep in mind, I want you guys to look at what they what what the what the statement states. I want you to pay attention to what this clearly says. We recommend consuming buffet food immediately after collecting. Guys, do you know why us chefs say that to a community that's in going into a buffet? Because in a buffet, they do not distribute the same food the next day. It has to be fresh, made daily. What Jungle Cafe did was a violation and policy of too to go, good, too good to go at policy. And they know it, and too good to go knows it. But here's a problem with good to go. They claim that they will respond within 72 hours. It's been past 72 hours. It's over 100 hours already. And I had to get someone from Good To Go's Instagram to respond to their team. That person said, and I will screenshot it. 
sorry guys, I'm gonna I'm screenshot the evidence. I want you guys to see this so you guys know that I'm being honest and being very transparent. So this is was the conversation. So you guys can get a sense of everything. So this is why I told them it's misleading for a restaurant or cafe, whatever they want to establish themselves as, to literally tell too good to go that they give customers while using the app fresh daily food. That's not true. You just gave me, you just proved to me, you just gave me five day, you just gave me day and a half old, two day food. Mind you, you said it was buffet food at that, which means it is not good to eat the next day. All that flavor, all that acidity, all that passion into that making that dish is now gone away because it's been refrigerated for the day and a half. Gordon Ramsay would have a field day on your ass if he would come to your cafe and literally go into your refrigerator and like, why would you give a customer day and old, half, two day old food? N unacceptable. Has to be fresh, daily. So with that said, everyone, I had to speak to someone and they claimed that someone was going to get in contact with me, but guess what? No one still gave, came in contact with me by email. No one refunded me still. No one gave me a, a, a voucher or nothing still. And it's been five days. So don't believe the hype about too good to go. Customer service is kind of poor and very, very, very slow and not 72 hours. The last incident that happened took nine days for them to respond. Nine days. And I have the proof. You just gave me the voucher four days ago. Four days before, the, days before that, nine days ago, before you didn't respond to my request. This person's done. So with that said, everyone, I'm in New York City, food can be very up and down here. You can literally have a good experience and a bad experience. So take it with a grain of salt. But I am still hungry. I literally waste 15 bucks paying for a burrito. Almost 15 bucks paying for a burrito. When I know right now I can go get a fucking full dish using Too Good To Go app. And like literally get, if I wasn't a vegan, you know what my options for could be? Pizza. Yeah. Chicken. French fries. All that greasy stuff. Yeah, they have that stuff on a good to go app. And guess what? It's like five ninety nine. Yeah. Five ninety nine. And you get eighteen dollars worth or fifty dollars worth of food. And be you're supposed to get fifteen dollars or eighteen dollars worth of food as it's advertised. So here is the state. If you're paying $4.99 for a, for a meal on Too Good To Go, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be an average of $50 worth of food. If you pay $5.99 for a Good To Go dish on good, Too Good To Go app, it's supposed to be $18 to $20 worth of food. Keep that in mind. This is why I told you guys, pay attention to some of these uh, small little cafes and restaurants. So, yeah. Now you have a sense of why I post this and I post this and I'm posting a whole bunch of inconsistencies in New York City. Why food is very inconsistent. People are literally price gouging and infl oh my pen, I keep saying the word, but inflation is the problem. You people use that as a weapon here in New York City. It's so terrible. It's so terrible. I don't agree with it. I don't approve of it. I literally don't like it. I'm literally trying to save money and you guys are literally ripping me off. And I just got ripped off by paying for a small ass burrito when I can just whip to this Mexican spot up this block where I got the big burrito from before and only spent $10. Ugh. This is why I shouldn't went to that place. But it's kind of far, it's in Williamsburg, it's on North 4th. So with that said, I am not going to be recommending this place here, but 
if you guys want to eat here and you guys think it's good food that don't be my guest but in my opinion as someone that's been around the world that has taste food that eat a lot of food i think they skipped on a lot of things they did not give me any substitution i think that should have been fair i shouldn't have to pay the full price if i'm not paying for sour cream and cheese i shouldn't have to pay the full price oh no 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 not full price let me correct you i shouldn't have to pay 1248 i should have at least paid ten dollars for that burrito the least ten dollars or nine dollars for that burrito but with that said everyone this is my review on this this taco place and i stand by my claims and I hope you guys agree with me and I hope you guys have any concerns that you want to raise like did you ask yes I did everything in my power to be kind and then ask them tell them like no cheese because I'm allergic I told them no dairy because I'm allergic I, I even asked them like can I get this can I get something else with it and it's like oh it's it's the way it is they go by their menu it's the way it is so I'm not going to argue, I just walked away, paid for it, I just want to see how they would actually give me the burrito. And I thought I was going to get, like I said, I thought I was going to get a large burrito, but it was actually a tiny ass burrito, small, like a chip, it's small where a children can eat that, a child can eat that burrito, easily. So with that said everyone, don't recommend it. So I'm going to try to go to walk around to community fitness and find some food replacement because I have no choice because I don't have any more money now. So, I just spent my donations. Yeah, I just spent my $15 donation on a burrito. And I know I could have got more food for my $15. So, I'm gonna get going. And I know I should've went to Chipotle, because it probably would've been better and safer, but I'm gonna check this community picture down here, and I will talk to you guys in the next 